Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Kringle Candle New Reserve Candle Line video. Now, I have two of the five Kringle Candles that are launching tomorrow for the Reserve Line, but we are going to talk about all five. Now, before we get started, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. These were gifted to me for my review, but as always, I am 100% honest with how I feel about the candles. I would not be a Kringle Candle Ambassador if I did not absolutely love the brand. I'm currently burning a Kringle right here. I already began burning this one yesterday. Let me tell even taking the lid off. I'm so happy that this is one of the choices that I received. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I know everyone is super excited and waiting for Halloween to launch, waiting patiently, not so patiently, but I'm so excited for Halloween too. But before we launch Halloween, Kringle is launching five new candles in the Reserve line. If you're unfamiliar with the Reserve line, Kringle has these awesome black painted jars that are 22 ounces, I believe. Yeah, 22 ounces, double wicked, 100% soy, but they use elevated fragrance oils in the formulas, so they perform a little bit different. The, the strength, I find the strength a little bit stronger in the reserves than in the regular line, and they're just a little bit more sophisticated and more complex fragrances. So, tomorrow, which is July 27th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you will be able to purchase all of these reserve candles. They will be full price at $31.50, but if you use my code DREWYOK15, it'll save you 15%. Now, they're also having a Christmas in July sale. They have the new fall candles there, so definitely if you want to pick up maybe just one of these is speaking to you, and then you want to add some other things to your cart, however you want to slice it, dice it, you'll be able to save 15% on your total purchase by using my code. It is an affiliate code, but it is there for you guys to use if you choose to. Anyway, before we get started on the two fragrances that I have here, I want to talk a little bit about the ones that are also coming. So the first one we have is called Sweet Geometry. Interesting name, interesting photo. So we have like this waffle cone with this peaches. You have a little bit of like a diagram of a graph and some charts. Very interesting. And the description reads, a mouthwatering scent featuring notes of zesty lemon, apple peel, and cherry sorbet splashed with a touch of mint, almond extract sweetened with a touch of vanilla sugar. This one sounds super interesting. Definitely, like, I picture this to be very similar to, like, a rainbow sherbet almost because it seems like you have the sorbets, the mint, the apple, the lemon, and then you have those notes of a waffle cone as well. So I'm picturing this one to be, like, a sweet rainbow sherbet. I am obsessed with with the label though. So I will buy that strictly for the label. I love that one. All right, next we have Summer Wish. Very reminiscent of that Yankee Candle that was, was that called Summer Wish too? It had some wish, make a wish, something like that. Anyway, light summer breezes dance across fresh cut greens and a garden of delicate flowers and herbs, bringing you back to sweet carefree days of childhood innocence of making magical wishes in the backyard. And as you see, the photo is this dandelion being blown in the wind. And what I love about the Kringle Reserve candles is that they're on a black background. So the photos really pop the vibrancy of them. It's going to be a lot more of a bright floral because there's that lemongrass, there's the tonka bean, ballerina lavender. I'm not really sure what ballerina lavender is, but definitely sounds super, super interesting. Definitely want to try that one, especially not everybody's ready for, for fall. People still like summer. Not me, but some people still really want those summer fragrances. So there is that option for you as well. Next, we have Phoenix. Now, look at the label on this. The vibrant blues and purples on that black background. So pretty. And this one reads, a fruity blend of sweet French apricot, peach, and pink apple intertwines with jasmine leaf and sugared caramel woods. So cool. I feel like this 
with the jasmine leaf and the sugar caramel woods, I feel like it's going to be a little bit more perfumey. With the raspberry, the peach, and the apple, that's like that fruity accord. And then we have the apricot, coconut milk, and jasmine leaf, which are going to be a little bit more of those perfumey notes, like more light, delicate. And then the sugar musk and the caramel woods, I feel like is going to really have it sit on that base note of like a body care or a fruity fragrance. So anyway, those are the three that are launching that I do not have in my hands, but I do have two here to show you. First, we have Pineapple Cilantro. Now this label looks like that, what was that game called, Fruit Ninja? Remember Fruit Ninja where like the fruit were in the air and you had to like slice them? That's kind of what the label looks like on here. And then you have the juicy pineapples juice just squirting all over that amazing label. Now I have not burned this one yet because I am over summer fragrances personally. And this is super, super summery. So this says, Juicy Island Pineapple and Shaved Coconut is combined with golden apple, crushed cilantro leaves, and lemon zest, topped with caramelized sugar and vanilla. I love pineapple fragrances. I feel like pineapple fragrances you either love or you hate. I love them because they are so juicy, so sweet. Like, truly, when you smell a pineapple fragrance you should be able to be able to like, your mouth should water because it is so juicy and accurate. And I feel like a lot of the mass market candles out there are just like pineapple candy instead of like a true juicy pineapple. This is a juicy pineapple. I'm not getting cilantro leaves or anything like that. It does not smell like Yankee Candles pineapple cilantro. To me, this is much more pineapple heavy. It says there's top notes of pineapple. I totally agree. And juicy pineapple, oh, totally. This is definitely not my type of scent for now. I will like this when winter is over and I'm I'm ready for summer scents for that very short time. But for right now, it's a little too fruity for my nose. But if you are still craving summer or you love those pineapple fragrances, that is amazing. Now, if I have a prediction, this is going to sell out like a display. Like by 11 a.m., this is going to be gone. For one, the label, fresh baked bread. Look at that label. Okay, it looks like the bread is just sliced. Sort of gives you that same vibe of this one, how like the fruit is sliced. The bread is sliced and going onto the cutting board. If you know me, actually in the, can you see one? Oh, in here. And I have another one further down. Those candle holders are French baguette candles from Bath & Body Works. I love a fresh baked bread scent. To me, it instantly reminds you of home. It instantly makes you feel comforted and cozy and just ready to snuggle up. Notes of buttery baguette are wrapped with creamy milk and toasted wheat to bring you a savory and fluffy French bread. I'm, t I'm telling you, this is insane. Okay, so I have been burning it. So as you see, now, when you get Kringle Wicks like this, you can trim off that little mushroom on the top. I've tried both ways, not trimming it at all. It does pop a little bit, which scares me. So I do like to trim them, but you do not have to. They will go burn all the way down. But I have lit this two times already, and it is down to here. These Kringle jars last forever, you guys. Like, the $31.50 before the discount is so worth it for these candles the quality and the strength. I lit this in my kitchen yesterday. Went to my room, went, took a shower, all of that. I got out of the shower instantly. Like it smells like you walked into a French bakery and they were just bringing out these loaves of crusty French bread. You know, when you go to a restaurant, I was actually at a restaurant yesterday, a seafood restaurant, and they bring you a loaf of bread on the table that's warm. And when you slice into it and put that butter on it, it instantly, it instantly smells like it. You get that yeastiness, but it's not like a stomach turning yeastiness. You get that warm, rich butter and that crusty bread. Now, is this a bedroom candle? No. Is this a um, bathroom candle? No. I think it's a kitchen candle for sure. And I have the herbs and spices candle. I think burning these together 
would really make it smell like an Italian restaurant. Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, if you're watching, I know you weren't the biggest fan of herbs and spices. Burning these two together, I feel like it creates like a a Bravo or an Olive Garden vibe because you have those herbs, the spices, and then the fresh baked bread really create like an Italian kitchen night in your house if you want to go that far. But anyway, I love this. I think it's going to sell out first. Again, use my code DREWYOK15. Save 15%. I think that one's going to go super fast. But thank you so much, Kringle, for sending those to me to review for you. I'm super excited. And as always, I would not tell you if I like a fragrance if I don't. I've been critical of candles of all brands, including Kringle, in my empties videos. If I don't like a fragrance, I don't like it. And I will tell you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.